Aloha talofa and yaorana and welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Kanani Lokelani Faliata Angel Kahanui Aswenga and I'm your favorite Polynesian dancer here on YouTube. In this video, you're going to take a free Oritaiti class, beginner base. So it's perfect for anybody who's trying to get their toes wet in Oritaiti and kind of discover a little bit more about it. Um, I do have online classes via Zoom and all my classes are online. All my classes are in California time, but I do provide the recording for those who can't make it live or who want to retake the class, which is kind of what you're about to watch. So if you've been interested in my classes, but don't really know if you're ready to commit, I hope that this video encourages you to join me. Um, I hope you get a little bit of a good trial and a good understanding of what I'm all about and what my classes are about. In this video you're about to watch, it is a replay of one of the Zoom live classes, the free zoom live class that i just held on may 1st um i am taking new students until may 10th so i hope you can make it and then our first class is on may 13th for this next term in case you missed it you can always just check back on my website kananilokilani.com to either sign up for the current classes or keep a lookout for the future classes uh, below in the description is all my social media i'm very active on instagram so that's probably where you'll see the most updates before youtube so i suggest that you go there or just you know keep in the back of your mind my website where all the information for classes will also be constantly updated so anyway i hope you enjoyed today's class it's a replay it's good vibes it's all good love and um yeah so definitely check it out and then check out my classes if this is like you know something for you so faftai lava mahalo and marururoa for being here and have a good day and have a good class see you guys you you're gonna go up and you're gonna roll your leg over to the back push it back feel those hips start to wake up and just take your time and go back and forth um, if you really want to go into dancer mode you can point your toe to get that full type of flex in that toe just wake those hips up I feel mine cracking maybe you might be the same way take your time you don't even have to go as fast as me just start waking those hips up, shake it out a little bit. And then we're gonna take them from the back to the front. Here we go. Switch back, back and front, switch back, front, back, front, back, front. Keep it up, back, front, last time, back, front. All right, shake those hips out. So another stretch I like to do, you have to make sure you put your body in the right place so that you can feel it. All you're gonna do is take your right foot, cross over my left. I'm gonna drop and bend my knees and push my hips to the left. Down, push left. You should start feeling that stretch coming up right here. If you don't feel it, try to push lower and more outward. Keep your breath fluid, keep it going. If you don't feel it, you might wanna push a little bit forward or a little bit backwards. Start activating different parts of your hips and really feel that. This is always nice too, just for like proper mobility in life. <laughs> so we can last a little bit. Keep that up. If it's hurting, you know that you're actually stretching. And then breathe and relax that. Come out slowly and gently. Go ahead, take your left over your right. Push your hip to the right. Pull it all the way out. There you go. Keep stretching that hip, feel it, move your body around where you need to go to activate it. Feels good, I hope so. 
and a little bit longer and breathe and relax and come out of it. Here we go, we're gonna open our legs, pulling out and you're gonna drop. And I just want you to pull those legs apart, pull them back, feel your groin being stretched. You're about to use all these new muscles you might have never used before. Relax a little bit, make sure you're breathing and back up. And then your last hip movement, we're gonna take, this is a little bit of a balance drill as well, so you may need to hold and get some support. Take your left over your right knee, bend your knees, drop your butt. You should be feeling the stretch up of your short leg. You can even push your knee down. If you need to, small kind. Really wake up those hips. So as we stretch, keep your ears open. Today I'm gonna to be doing a lot of instruction of the movement so you can do it correctly. So it might be a little bit tedious, but it'll be a lot of fun. Switch and drop down, push that right knee down. Woo. You can add some extra stretches that you know helps your body as well. Make sure you're feeling good. That's the beauty of Zoom class as you, you have a lot more space for your own individual work. To the hips. The first movement we're gonna do is probably the movement you see me doing the most, which is that really, really fast circle, but we're gonna do it in the slow pace, okay? The fundamentals are, we have to use our core, the use of our knees going back and forth, okay? Everything we do in Polynesian dancing is a low level, so your knees are gonna be down, but don't put your knees too low where you can't move at a comfortable drop. So let's go, starting from the feet, Toes and feet are flat and forward. My knees are together. If you need a little bit of space, I got a big booty and I got big thighs and sometimes they stick. If you're the same, separate, small kind, but keep your toes forward. Here we go. So together, forward, flat, and then you bend. Okay, so maybe your upper body is not engaged. From here, tighten your core, arch your lower back, lift, keep your chest tall, shoulders back, chin up. Here's your starting position. You're always gonna dance here. All right, so shake that out. Go into your ready position. Five, six, seven, drop, hop. There you go, hold that. One more time, find that muscle memory. Just put your body right where it needs to go. Five, six, seven, and down. Beautiful, the arm movements we're gonna use today, anytime I say the word tarava, tarava is the Taishan word for a long line. You also hear it as a long line of stars, something that's flat to the ground. So tarava, your hands go out to the side. If you have other forms of dancing, be careful. Um, I know like my ballerinas or my um, be uh, belly dancers also have different hands. Today we're going stop sign, fingers tight together and flat. Our arms are out to the side, straight down the side. Your hands should not go ear level or these are your susus or susu level, it's above, right there. Beautiful, so now we go into, this is our ready position, arms and body, five, six, seven, drop, bum, bum, two, three, four, five, engage, seven, rest, one more, five, six, seven, eight, bum, bum, two, three, four, close your fingers, two, three, finish, nice. That's good. So that's the body you're gonna be in all day. So now the fundamentals of our circle. The movement of this, when you see me do it fast, that's one movement. Today, we're gonna to be focusing on the slow one. The slow circle for Oritaiti is called an ami. Everyone say ami. Every time I do that, I feel like I'm in a kid's class. I love it, I love it. So here we go, nice big ami. All I need you to do to start off is identify right here, the sides of your belly, right outside of your belly button. And it's kind of in that groin area that we're gonna be focusing on right now. So with not really thinking, go ahead, bend your knees, the form we just went in, and you're gonna pull your hips and your pelvis forward and in. I'm tightening my butt, sucking in my belly, pulling my groin up. Okay, hold that position. Now you're gonna release it and arch on the backside and push arch, release. A nice little booty lift. Tuck back in, boom, boom and up, boom, boom, and up. Now with my knees, no matter what we're doing today, your knees are gonna always be pushing forward. 
never outside. So now when we do that, sit down, pull your knees, they're gonna go forward together, small kind. Don't push them and don't make it a big deal. Small kind release back. Tuck in, knees forward, tuck back. In, arch back, in, arch back. Okay, you get the fundamentals, whoosh. Rele release all of that. You just learned it. Your brain's going crazy. Let's do it again. Let's just run a few times. So we're going to go ta -da -va into our ready position and go eight counts front and back. Here we go. Five, six, seven, tuck front. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Release one more time. Try your best to just listen to me. Take your eyes off the camera and just follow your body. Five, six, seven, eight. And front, back, front, back, front, back. Last time, front and back. Good. So those are the fundamentals of the front and back for our circle. So now we hit the last two parts, which is our side. I always like to say, let your love handles love. You want all that crunch, you want all the roll. So the same stretch we did here, it's that same muscle, but your feet are together. So kind of feel that out. When you release to the other side, same thing. Watch my knees. One knee goes forward while one knee goes back. It's a natural movement and then they switch. Natural movement, switch, side to side, side to side, side to side, right there. What I'm doing is I'm lifting my hip versus pulling, pulling. I'm lifting, lifting, okay? So let's just run through the side to side movement. Here we go. Down, da da va. Pulling your weight to the left or the right hip first. Right hip always goes first. Hey, and right. Hey, left. Hey, right. Hey, left. And right. And left. I know I'm throwing a lot at you. Remember all of that engagement we started with core tight, chest up, chin up. One more time, side to side, moving to your right first. Five, six, seven, hip, right hip, left hip, right hip, left hip, right hip, and finish. Now we take all four parts. One, two, three, four. Here we go. So now when you tuck in that front, you're gonna kind of round it out. Watch my hips go. One, up two, up three, in four, up one, up two, up three, in four. I'm gonna turn diagonal, you can see more of my body. Just run your circle, feel your body out. Here we go. Five, six, seven, and one, two, three, arch four. Right, center, left, arch four. Right, center, left, arch four. Keep those toes down and remember those knees are always moving forward. I'm gonna go ahead and just keep it more circular and not broken up. Here we go. Fluid, five, six, seven, on me. In, up, in, up, in, up. Let those knees pump back and forth so they help your hips uh, moving and just run that circle. Nice, keep it up. Almost there, a few more, and finish. So that movement is called an ami, okay? Without thinking, I'm just gonna call five, six, seven, eight, and you go for it. All right, so now you're professionals. Here we go. Five, six, seven, hey, circle. One, up, two, up, three, up, four, and finish. Beautiful. So unknowingly, you actually learn two moves. That side to side movement that we started with here. Boom, two, three, four. That's another basic step called a ta iri ta mao. The words you're not gonna remember, don't worry, but visually, just know we've hit two moves. So we're gonna go between ta iri ta mao, side to the right, side to the left, right and left. From this left hip, start your circle. Ready? Five, six, seven, push it back. Back, in, two, and three, and four, side to side, and right, left, right, and circle, I me mean one, two, four circles, three, four. Okay, so not to confuse you, I'm gonna turn to the back. We're gonna hit these two movements over and over again with our music. 
My right, when my back is to you, we both are on the same hip. If I'm facing you, we are opposite. Zoom life, it's rough. Try your best. But here we go. Let me get my music up. Here we go. So this is the drumming aspect that I was talking about with Taishin. Uh, dancing is the type of drumming that goes behind it. Here we go. Stuff. So now we get it. I'm just going to keep running back and forth between the two steps at a small kind faster pace. So no music. Let's hit side to side a little bit quicker. Starting with your right. Five, six, seven, hit. Bum, 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 Cool. Nice. So here we go. Nice. Okay, let's add a few more arms. Now your brain's going to play some tricks on you. It's going to be one of these things. Try your best. Here we go. Arm number one. Arm number two, palms to your camera. Thumbs together, fingers tight above by your ears. Here we go. And arms number three, grabbing your hips and controlling your arms. Close those fingers, shoulders back. One more time. Arm one. Arm two. Arm three. Two three, four, and then it's going to restart. Here we go. So with our hips, ami, it's going to go one hip to three arms and to the second hip to three arms. So we start da iri da mao, five, six, seven, hey, dum, dum, da dum, 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 da dum, da dum, da dum, two, dum, dum, da dum, 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 da dum, da dum, da dum, three, dum, shoulders back, dum, 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 da 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 da, ami, hey, dum, dum, Back and forth from those two patterns. Here we go. You guys look good.
there's two aspects of oritaiti, our slow and our fast. What you just learned was our fast. Um, to give you a, a little bit of a demo, you're welcome to kind of groove with me and follow me if you want, but I just want to give you the fast pace oritaiti demo before we switch over to our slow spot. So here we go. You can watch. Me. And now we transition to our slow part. So this is when those elegant, you probably saw them as hula hands, which is from Hawaii. Um, but we're gonna work on our arms and fluidity up top. So follow me. Now we move to our hands. So the beauty of Polynesia, the same way you differentiate through the movement when it comes to the Polynesian islands, the hands make a big difference. Small demo. Hawaii. Tahiti. Aotearoa or New Zealand, Samoa. So that's my favorite way to explain things like when I meet someone and they're like, where are you from? What are you? What's happening? I show them the different hands and that's an easy way to show them the, the different islands. Anyway, here we go. So back to Tahiti. Relax the upper body. All those awkward nerves that you may be feeling for my new dancers, let them go, release it. Push it to the floor, out through your toes. So here we go, we're gonna uh, work on our hands, fingers together, close, and you wave, bring those fingers down, bring those fingers in, release them out. Down, in, release, out. Down, in, release, out. When you're ready, bring two hands. Down, in, release, out. They're doing the exact same thing. Three, four, down, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay, so here we go. We're gonna take arms to the right. You can mirror me, no biggie. One hand is on one susu, one is out. If you look at it, I'm straight down to the side of my ear. So here we go, we wave down and up, down and switch your hands. Boom, point A to point B right away. Down and up, down and again. Switch, down and up, down last time and down and up down and up, nice. So those are two easy hands. When we do arms, I feel like I can do a lot more. So I'm gonna kind of take it away and challenge you. So we have one to the right, or one and two, three and four. Arm number three, we're gonna come to the front and you're going to present. So a lot of times in Polynesian dancing, or all, all the time, not a lot of times, it's storytelling. So here we go, we're gonna present a circle here. And then we're gonna take our flower from the ground. And this is what a flower is. If you're into memes, you know that this looks like something different on social media, but it, and it's a flower in Polynesia. Here, okay? So one, two, three, four, pick it up. Two, three, four. From here, you're gonna let your flower bloom. One, two, take your flower again. And then you're gonna put your flower in your ear. And this is another hand to show a flower. Three fingers up. Okay, so here we go. Number one, to the right. One and two. Watch it on one susu. One and two. Hey, three and four. Hey, one and two. Three and four. One and two. Three and four. Voila, cute, yeah? Let's go back and forth with the music on that. Easy hands to help. You wanna just It's a free flowing spiritual dance. Let me get my music up, here we go.
the sake of time, I'm going to move on. So I'm not going to focus too much on hips because honestly, it's really hard to do in a one hour class. But another part of Oritaiti is kind of the way you present and have your posture. So we're going to do more poses in, um, with Oritaiti flair. Here we go. So we're going to sit right leg, point down, sit, boom, boom, here. So we're going to sit, take your chest, push here, two, three, four, to the right, one and two, ready, switch your feet, same thing, three and four, here to the front, Stick. so right foot, down there, one, two, left foot, down there, three, four, lean forward, it's a lunge, lunge, two, three, four, one, two, and then three, four. So we're just really walking. One more time, I'm gonna go here. Five, six, seven, and one, and two, hey, three, and four, hey, right, and two, three, and four, five, and six, hey, seven, and eight. And you repeat. Um, nice long bodies, nice pointed toes. do a little bit more larger movement. So you kind of have the fluidity happening. So now Polynesian dancing is all about uh, spiritual expression. So one common word you'll hear in Polynesian dancing is the word mana. It actually goes across Polynesia, which is one of my favorite words. Another word that you all probably know is the word moana, which is a Disney princess, but it also means ocean. And it's the same word throughout Polynesia. It's really cool it's because we're so connected, yet we have our own identities, but I really love the part of Polynesia where some of our languages and movements cross over with each other. Uh, it shows a lot about more of where we came from. Oh, it's a spiritual dance. You have a lot of mana. So mana means power, mana means energy. Mana, you give mana, you receive mana. It can be mana between two humans, mana between me and the land that I'm on, um, Native American land for me, I'm in California. And so I have this, this like, energy passing through from the universe to uh, Polynesians were polytheistic. So through our gods and everything like that, I receive it through the tip of my fingers. It goes through my veins, inside of my heart, out through my toes, out through my movements and my mouth, my eyes. Yeah. So that's the part that I want us to kind of discover today. 
How to do that on a technical level, you take a lot of energy from here. Polynesians believe that we don't have pain in our heart. We don't have love in our heart. We have it in our core. In, in Taishin, it's called an uh, ao. Our uh, ao is our soul, which goes below this part of our chest. So we're very much here. So you're here in this area and you're gonna really flex that part of your belly. So here, pull it up, up, up. I have lazy posture because you're gonna see now the explosion to the good posture all the way through my chin up into the um, universe. Okay, so we're pulling from the middle of our core out to the world. So here, we're gonna take from here and you're gonna pull it up, two, three, four, and then anything you give out, you receive in return, uh, you return it as well and it comes back in. Two, back to your uh oh, three, four. Polynesian dancing is very particular when it comes to where you put your hands. If I say here, I'm saying, I see you. If I go here, I hear you. Little things. So this whole lesson I expressed that it's coming from our core. So you have to start in your pito, which is your circle of life, the connection between us and our mother and the, the plants in that land, those roots. It's right here, our pito, our pufe nua. So we pull from here da -da 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 -dum, and bring it back to here. Okay. I'm gonna bring up some like very emotional music that really derives feelings naturally as a human being. When we hear like a cool melody, we just go like that, yeah? And that's the same energy I wanna bring for um, this moment. It's not gonna be like hip hop. I give a little like crunkin' vibes, but it's gonna be soft and emotional and blah, blah, blah. <laughs> Here we go. One hand, two hands, okay? Here we go. Mata i o te ora O vaunte mata i o te ora O vaunte mata i o te ora O vaunte mata i o te ora Oh, I just want to add other movements. Pulling from our core here, bum, 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 and down. Da, 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 and down. And now we're going to take the energy from that's around us, pulling it back in through that core fist. Two, three, four. And then again, anything you, you take, you must give back. Bum, bum. Two, three, four. So one more time. Really quick. Bum, 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 bum. Bum, 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 bum. Outside, up top, into your chest, explode, explode, and rest two, three, four, repeat. <laughs>
did you get what I did there? All the three movements we did and now adding your hand. So full class is coming back together. Let's keep it repetitive. Number one, circle your ami. Number two, ta'iri tamao, your side to side. Number three, the poses that we did. Right foot, left foot, right foot, left foot. All right, here we go. So back and forth. Here we go. No. Again, I want to give you another demo um, of how the slow, the slow Taishin dancing goes. A lot of vocab, which you may not remember, but I want to say it. This class is recorded, so you guys can check it out after. Um, fast aparima to drums, powerful things with where we started, is called your otea. Otea is the name of the dance style, which is faster. Aparima, rima means hands. So when you do the slow aparima, it talks about using your hands to really tell the story. So I'm gonna go ahead and give you a little bit of a demo. Um, quick, I might, I probably won't even finish the song. But what this song talks about is basically what we did today, which was um, having good spirit, pooling good mana, giving and receiving. Um, you have to give in order to get it back, like karma, basically. Good karma, bad karma. And we learned the word mana. So you'll hear it in this song. The first words you'll hear are um, e awe. Awe is like, um, it could be a cry, it could be a call, it could be a happy thing. When we have death in Polynesia, you'll hear awe. When we have celebration, you'll hear awe. It's like a woohoo type of vibes. But there's a lot of like energy that comes with that word. So here's your little demo of the slow aparima and how you really tell a story with it. Te aroha, kai tore, no atu. 
class I think it was perfect for those that are new and a reminder for the friends that um, have danced before oh, I'm out of breath hold on um, a little plug small kind if you do want to take another class I do have commitment based classes that are on the website that's how you found this class so you can go check that out um, this class is recorded so you can retake it if you don't um, are not in the moment to pay for classes. I do have some tutorials on my YouTube page. Now that you've learned a little bit of the fundamentals, those classes might seem to make more sense. So either way, keep grooving with Polynesian dancing, accept it and love it into your life, um, respect it and culturally understand it, and then even do some more research if you're a little confused. Uh, you have me on your social, so you guys always comment on my pages like, how did you do that again? Or I don't know, you know, but hit me up and, have a beautiful day. Sai lava, maruru roa.